senator from the largest state in the union is totally ineffective in the United States Senate because she is bitterly, personally partisan. Harsh words tonight from Arizona Senator John McCain against Barbara Boxer as he and Carly Fiorina make a campaign stop here in San Diego. November elections are just weeks away and powerful political players are making their final efforts to sway voters. Yeah, Senator John McCain and Carly Fiorina made a stop at the Veterans Museum in Balboa Park today. News 8's Angie Lee is live at the Registrar Voters Office in Kearney Mesa. She joins us now with the very latest on today's debate and McCain's special announcement. Angie? McCain called Barbara Boxer bitterly partisan and anti-defense. He also didn't waste any time in expressing how unpleasant it's been working with her in Washington. He went on to show his support for Carly Fiorina, but even he admitted it's ultimately left to the voters. Please give a loud San Diego welcome to Senator John McCain, Cindy McCain, and Carly Fiorina. Barbara Boxer is the most bitterly partisan, uh, most anti-defense senator in the United States Senate today. I know that because I've had the unpleasant experience of having to serve with her. Senator John McCain wasted no time in making his own jabs at his colleague Barbara Boxer in a room full of military veterans in Balboa Park. Senator Senator said Boxer is the chamber's most anti-defense lawmaker. All of this as he drops his big endorsement for GOP Senate hopeful Carly Fiorina. McCain's appearance with Fiorina in San Diego comes shortly after the Veterans of Foreign Wars Political Action Committee endorsed the California senator. In fact, a few of Boxer's supporters showed up to the rally today but were turned away. Senator Boxer um, is, is the person that needs to go back to Washington to take care of California. They say the United States senator has gone through rigorous checkpoints and was endorsed by the VFW fair and square. She was endorsed by a rigorous process and they had criteria to meet and she met all those criteria and then they want to come back and undo uh, this endorsement and obviously that's uh, something we're, we're against. Meanwhile, calling San Diego a pro-military city, McKinn says he won't accept the VFW's PAC and says San Diegans need to know the arena will do what Boxer has failed to do in Washington. I am not a hero. But I am a fighter, and together we are going to go defeat Barbara Boxer on November 2nd. Fiorina says her background makes her the perfect candidate, and her supporters agree. She knows how to create jobs. She knows how to fire people when they are not doing well. She, uh, she knows how to uh, run a business. Now, Boxer's campaign manager released this statement saying, quote, no one is a more committed advocate for our veterans than Barbara Boxer, who helped establish the first comprehensive combat casualty care center on the West Coast, meaning here in San Diego. That's why Boxer earned the endorsement of the Veterans of Foreign Wars PAC and has the active support of more than 100 California veterans, end quote. So, Craig and Marcella, if you haven't decided which way to go, you still have at least 17 days to decide Boxer or Fiorina.